Godrej Properties at this point. Godrej Properties has reported a marginal dip in sales. The stock is down 3%. The bottom line, however, has clocked an impressive 35% jump. We'll continue putting the focus on the numbers. We're being joined by Pirocha Godrej, the MD and CEO of Godrej Properties, to discuss those numbers and also the regulatory environment and what it's looking like for the realty space going forward. Uh, Mr. Godrej, thanks for coming in this morning. You know, I want to start by talking to you about, you know, how the second quarter has panned out for you. Sure. Actually, I think, you know, the operating numbers for the quarter were exceptionally strong. I think what's important to keep in mind that the reported revenue and profit numbers for a quarter are really a, an impact of what reaches revenue recognition because projects have to reach a certain threshold of construction before you can start accounting for them. So we actually had no new projects entering the revenue recognition threshold, but we had as many as four new project or new phase launches. So from an actual sales perspective, which I think is the more relevant operational parameter, we had a very successful quarter. We saw sales increase by 170% to about 1.4 million square feet, or about 880 crore uh, during the quarter. And this was largely on the back of successful launches across uh, the leading real estate markets in the country. So we had an important new project launch here in Mumbai, um, one in NCR, and a new phase launch, uh, or two new phase launches actually in Bangalore. So I think, um, you know, from an operating perspective, we're extremely happy with how, how the quarter went by. And we do have a large number of projects that are likely to reach the revenue recognition threshold over the next couple of uh, quarters. So I think even the reported numbers for the full year should see smart growth. And if you look at the half-year numbers, our revenues increased by about 19% and our net profit by about 25%. So I think, uh, you know, all in all, especially given that the general macro environment is, is quite weak, um, for the sector, we're, we're very happy with the with these numbers. Mm, fair enough, but, you know. But despite these new launches, you're seeing pricing seem to have remained sluggish. Can you give us your perspective on that? Well, you know, it's hard to project prices over the over the short term. But my expectation is that you know the the sector has been through a sluggish period uh, with sluggish price growth for the for the last couple of years. Um, and, I, and I do expect with the economy improving, with um, you know, uh, consumer sentiment improving, we should see a pickup uh, in sentiment towards the sector, which hopefully will lead uh, to improve volumes. And I think pricing you know, is already at pretty reasonable levels uh, in most cities. So I think the more important thing for the sector is to see volumes increasing quite sharply. Okay, uh, run us through you. the sort of overall progress we're seeing at your company. We're seeing some sort of regulatory movement on the ground, uh, but is that sufficient? I want your opinion on that. You know, there's, uh, in the real estate sector, there's no, no shortage of challenges, especially around the regulatory approval uh, front. But I think all in all, we're, we're very happy with how the company is progressing. You know, aside from Mumbai and Calcutta, we obviously have a lot of projects in places like Bangalore, NCR, uh, Pune, Ahmedabad, and so on. So I think the company's um, development portfolio is quite well distributed amongst the top uh, cities in the country. Uh, we're seeing what we hope will be our best ever year for sales in the current financial year and our best ever year for new launches. We also have a pretty robust uh, business development pipeline. So we have many uh, projects we're at very advanced stages of finalizing. So we hope to have positive news on that front um, in the coming months. So I think all in all, we're quite happy with the, with the progress the company's making. But as I said, um, in the real estate sector, there's also no, no shortage of headaches that we, we have to deal with.